So I think this road, well, it's not a road, end of the bush, is Friday's Creek Road. So back in Cross Harbour, back in the traffic. Got a plan today to do a bit of exploring west of Coffs a little bit. There's a creek there called Friday's Creek. Now, I've seen the turn off to it in the past, but I've never actually gone down there. So hopefully this time I can get down the creek and there's also a lookout tower up there, so wouldn't mind trying to get on top of that. So it's not too far, so let's go for a look. So I might have to punch in some directions from here. Save me thinking about it. We got Fridays Creek Road. Let's see how we go. Show on the map. Friday's Creek Road, that looks like it. How far down is it? It'll do. One thing with coughs, you don't have to go far to get away from the crowds. Like literally, what was it? I've gone six kilometers from that traffic jam and traffic lights. And it's very rural and very quiet. And the gateway to just, well, everywhere. There's all sorts of places around here to explore. So still on Mount Brown Road. Apparently up here a little bit. I turn into a what is South South Island Loop Road. I'm sure I've been on that before. Yeah, I think I haven't. I've come out there. So this I think takes you up to the Magic Pools as well, which is a Another pretty area. Friday's Creek Road. All new to me. It's supposed to be really nice in here, so I guess we'll find out. So far, so good. Nice little valley, pretty big hills around it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, one there is a beauty. Okay, we'll keep going. Looks like grapes or a winery. Bit of a little retreat up here. What's it called? Got some sign. Friday Creek Retreat. I guess there's some sort of accommodation in there. So it shouldn't be too far up here. And I'll run out of tar. So, a bit of a junction. I'm thinking that's up here. down in that bloody down there somewhere alright we'll keep going from Coffs and there's um, yeah, a little spot like this, it's awesome. It'd be nice in this pool below me, just in um, summer. Yeah, I might walk up a bit, I don't fall over. Walk up a bit and um, yeah, see where it takes me. Out in the sun again. Pop into another pool. Damn. Fancy um, French food. You know, fancy French food. 
looks like an overall 10. Should um, put some fancy tuna on it. So, because I've got no cutlery, just got to get a stick. This one, nice clean stick. I put on the tuna. Wee oui, wee. Oui. This is the French del. What is it? Delicacy. Alright. Fancy. Out of there. So I think this road, well, it's not a road, end of the bush, is Friday's Creek Road. But I'll go back, I won't go any deeper in, not on my own into that jungle. So this is pretty well the creek I was on, just up river a bit. Yeah, pretty well that one. So we'll go back a bit. I did see what road we got here. This road here. I heard a car go up there. So what's that one? Let's have a look at this map. Sixth road gets up the Peak Trail, and then you can go across to Perkins Road. But I might go back to this Perkins Road and have a look. I think this is it here. Have a bit of a look at that. Ah, so looks pretty normal. So there it goes. Nice compared to that track last week. If I can sit down, it's a good track. <laughs> so hopefully this will um, take me up to the very, oops, bit chewed out. Take me up to the this lookout tower up here. Or we'll just, I think it's radio towers. I don't know. Something up here. So far it's all good, good grip, not too steep, the radio tower, I went the wrong way, I don't know where that goes but I want to go up there but not up that way, I think it's back up this, um, yeah, that's one way to get up there which is um, frightening. So we don't do frightening, so I'll go back a bit and see if I can get up there. Turned into Perkins thinking that was it, but I think it's up here more. Well, I'd have a towel like that, there's got to be a, Jesus, a half reasonable road, you know, just for maintenance alone. <coughs> anyway, I'll get up there now I reckon. So if had I've gone straight ahead on that peak trail, which is that one, would have looped around, I think. But we'll go. <laughs> oh, 
Alright. Get a bit more serious, got some rocks. Tractor time. As I come around the corner, I will see the tower. You can see that track? <laughs> no way I'm doing that one. That was where I was a minute ago. That is just one of those scary things. And here we are, we're up. The easy way. And I don't have any view. And I didn't bring the drone. Damn. That's a bit disappointing, it'd be an amazing view looking east I reckon. I can see bits of blue through the trees. I think that's it. Should have brought the bloody drone. It's amazing some roads people drive down. I wouldn't even um I wouldn't even want to walk down that. Okay, I guess that's it. I couldn't, um, I was hoping for a bit of a view. But there's none. Another scary track. <laughs> Alright, back down we go. Back out of there, pretty good hill, nothing too scary but typical of course, either up or down. So, back this way, back into that um, open farmland. And before you know, look at that, back out again. Bloody beautiful valley, the cows and hill. Have some leg muscles, them ones. Yeah, that's where I came in. And um, yeah, nice, soaking it up, soaking up the terrain. So pretty well, just straight out of there. Just enjoy it while I can. Alrighty, keep going along. GPS says right, but we're going left. So yeah, not too far up here. Get to this magic pool area. So it's a bit of a swimming area. So it's just something like the, the promised land. Yeah, to some degree. And true to form, someone's here. I don't think you can come here without anybody.
Well, it's empty now. So this is a rare site, the magic pools with no one in them. This is talking to a local fella, um, been here in Coss all his life. And he's just he's saying how this used to be well over your head. And nobody out here. But now she's, um, yeah, she's changed. Yeah, very much like the promised land, sort of um, around the Glenifer area. Very pretty. And um, yeah, just the population of Kos has grown so much that everywhere, you know, everyone knows everywhere. But um, yeah, it depends what you're into. If you don't mind crowds, it's fine, but I'm the non-crowd person. But yeah, this is bloody nice. It's awesome, no one here. It's pretty great. 